Hey guys, it's me Pauline. I'm an investor, educator, and author. And today's topic will be China's aging population and what investing opportunities there are in the China markets. I'm sure you have all heard of China's one-child policy. But did you know that they have since changed into a three children policy just a few months ago? So why did the China government make such a drastic decision? And what impact will it have on the economy and the future of the country? My friend, colleague, co-founder and executive director of V, Ken Chi, shared with thousands of people over the past weekend on the above. Stay tuned for the next seven minutes. What is China facing internal challenge? They have challenge on. Uh. First, aging population. They discovered they did a very cold push. That means uh, by 2020, they did a consensus, uh, population consensus. They discovered the following things. Uh. First, do you see the majority in the year 2020, right? Okay. The majority of population is at the age of 30 to 34 years old. By 2050, right? the majority will be 60 to 64. So therefore, they give us a few things to think about. The first thing to think about is the aging population is real. Whether the, the three-child policy can actually replace this aging population, unknown yet. But we do know that the population is aging. So one sector we should look at is healthcare. And that's why China government also start to actually do certain uh, changes to the healthcare policy to make healthcare affordable. Then the more, huh? Second, you look at tourism-related industry that cater to the aging population. In US right now, there's a trend uh, okay, for the boomer population to go on, especially when the kids grow, all grow up, right? All grow up. Uh, They'll buy what? They'll buy a minivan that convert into actually inside called caravan. It's a caravan like that. Uh, but now even more modern because I intend to do so. Wow. Sorry, uh, i not so old yet, but I'm thinking to do so already. Uh, so they will drive around in US. But in China, they also have this. So this trend is actually picking up really. That means uh, Chinese, okay, when they get to a certain age, 50, 60s, they'll buy this. They, maybe they sell the house or they, maybe they downgrade the house, right? The children all grow up already. They don't take care of grandchildren. They just travel like that. So this travel part, okay, take note. The second one, aging population also means childless couple. That means uh, people get married late, no child even they get married, right? Give birth to what? Right now, uh, okay. Pet industry, pets, P-E-T. Yeah, why pets? I don't know why. People usually, they are alone, don't get married, or they have no children, one, uh, they will own pets. Companion. <laughs> Sometimes uh, the dog and the cat are uh, more loyal than a human being. <laughs> at, least, at least the dog won't talk back. <laughs> so, pet industry, take note, uh, this is the trend. Okay, try the opportunity there. Okay, now, because the government, okay, the government wants to actually encourage three-child policy. Now, they also discover why the couple are not giving birth and getting married. Because they say, first, education costs very high. Property price is very high. Uh, healthcare costs very high. So now, for the next five to 10 years, you can see, uh, now, especially now, uh, the government is coming up with few policy. First is, these are the so-called, uh, for the civil sector one. Okay, they take a screenshot. Take note of this. Uh. This, uh, this is a really growing trend in China. Uh. Okay, so now, what they do, they do reform. First, that's why they whack the education industry. Why? Because they discover, okay, company that a lot of parents spend a lot of money in tuition, especially the primary one, primary school to all the way to secondary school. They call it K-12 education. So they whack. This one, I don't want to go into it really. It's uh, all over the news. This itself, they show you, okay, they are very determined to transform their policy uh, to ensure that people give birth. Okay, uh? Now, next is this. Uh, they also control the property prices, especially in the area of popular school. They call it 学区房. So what this means here is, you see, in Singapore itself, uh, where is the prime location? I tell you, the prime location is where the where the, all the good schools are. Agree not? Prime location is where all the famous good schools are in Singapore. That's why you see Bukit Timah, why is the prime location? Because all the Hua Chong, Nanyang girls, Singapore Chinese girls, okay, all there, agree or not? All, yeah, National JC, ah, ACS, all the famous school, all there. That's why the whole stretch of Bukit Timah, the stretch, 
is expensive. Bishan, yeah, RI is there. Yeah, so this is where good school are. That's why the property prices very, very, very high. So what China did was they want to control this part also. Okay, so you will see that they make uh, changes in the education, K-12, and plus the property prices they control. So take note of actually the property counter that you, if the company that you have, a French Chinese company, might not be good. Okay, next third, they also now implement what we call a centralized purchasing system. So they want to group, uh, okay, on a national level to buy drugs. So to bring the drug cost down. Wow, this one. I tell you, okay, some of the, not the new drugs, uh, the, those like what, what we call the, the patent expired kind of drugs, uh, okay, yeah. So generic drug, correct. The cost of those generic drugs, I can tell you, uh, fall by 90%. You see the drug margin, how high? So take note of all these changes so that you can tweak your portfolio or at least you don't step into a potential, okay, that might issue, understand? Green energy. Aging population, okay, and any company that listed company that actually fulfill the policy, able to actually let the people live, okay, better, okay, reduce the income inequality, should be okay. The development. So now that you know the problems that China is facing and how the government is trying to solve the situation, what are your thoughts? on buying Chinese company stocks, especially now that they are dropping. That's it for the video today. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more of such content, drop us a like and leave a comment below on what else you'd like us to share. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. And as usual, stay safe.